The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good day, folks. Welcome to the January 4th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. We need to make that one little two by four shift. Well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past, well, just past 8 o'clock in the morning. That's right. If you're listening at the normal time, we are recording today's show between 8 and 9. Thanks so much for listening in. Uh, we'll try to make this show as pertinent as we can for that 1 to 2 o'clock slot. We'll be back to normal programming hours tomorrow. But if you are listening live, we would love to hear from you. So, you can send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. You can also give us a call at 877-927-6648. We'd love to hear from you to kick off 2022. And, of course, inside our Tigers demo, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, I've got all the USNCs trading to the upside. The Dow futures are up 117 points. They're trading at 36,573. Trading above resistance. We'll take a look at that shortly. The NASDAQ up 32 points. 16,516 is its print. The S&P 14 points. 4,799 to 4,800. The Russell 2000 is up at 2,277. That's eight points or nearly four tenths of a cent to the upside. Spot volatilities is also rising. Still below its 50-day exponential moving average. Over in Asia last night, it was a mixed bag. You had the Shanghai off eight points. That was basically flat. The Nikkei up nearly 2%, 510 points. That's uh, got an A to B equals CD to the upside. The Hang Seng up 15 points. She's trading out at 23,289. In Europe this morning, both the DAX and the FTSE, the FTSE strong, up 1.5%, 1 and 4 tenths percent. The DAX is trading out at 16,161. Gold is flat. It's up 70 cents. Silver is flat. It's down 10 cents. Sense. Platinum futures are off four bucks. Palladium is up, is, uh, is up thirty dollars. Thirty-year Treasury having another difficult day. Down twenty-two ticks. She's trading at one fifty-seven oh seven. So let's begin the day in the equity markets. And to do that, let's just go over and take a look at our eight-panel chart for each of the equity future contracts out here. Just get that feel for what its messages are. So we begin in the upper left-hand corner. You've got the ES Mini. The ES Mini for the uh, monthly time frame is really what I was trying to say. Formed a completed a TD nine count top last month, the month of December. It was a bar following bar number nine. So that high, that high is 47.9975, is a really critical level. If on a monthly basis we were to see a close above that, that tells us about a strong momentum move to the upside. And Stevie's idea that there might be a top, well, maybe that's a bit premature. We don't have that message just yet, but we do have a valid topping pattern on the monthly that says, okay, pay attention, be careful. The weekly chart has a roads momentum indicator signal. And what that means is that we need to see some type of bearish reversal candle form on a weekly basis to confirm that top. We would want to see that plus a close below that green oscillator and change line currently printed at 47.71. So you've got a top on the monthly. We don't have a topping signal yet on the weekly. It's got the potential for it, uh, but it would have to be right now, it would be a roads momentum indicator top that could form this week. So we'll be on the lookout for that. The daily time frame right now is taking on the resistance of the top of its uh, a bearish engulfing candle. That confirmed an A to B equals CD to the upside of sell the D point day butterfly sell pattern. But a close today above 47.9975, worth 47.9950, will negate that pattern. And that would then suggest we have to wait for the next 
top to form. There is no TD nine count top right now that is present that would identify a top. There's no road momentum indicator signal that would identify a top. So the only thing that would take place out here if the uh, 4799 level gets negated, meaning that the sell the D point pattern fails, would be some other bearish reversal candle to confirm another sell the D point. So we're really waiting on signals from the daily. Now the daily signal is still in place, it's still gonna top. Just price has not been able to take hold or get traction to the downside. Its traction would be a close at least below its oscillator and change line. That is a key level of support, especially since it is green. And that's at 47.67. So we're really waiting on the daily that could then impact the weekly, give us that bearish reversal candle. If we get that, then you have all three of these time frames on top of the yearly TD nine count pattern is also present. That would suggest that we've got a top and it could be a top of um, could be a significant top, the type of top that could last for at least a year, one to three years out there. So that's why we're paying attention. Now, if these patterns fail, again, they'll tell us about a strong momentum move to the upside. So I'm not suggesting that you take a market index short position now, just, <coughs> just because we have these signals, I'd say wait for proof because if this is more than just a you know, a, a few day retracement or something along those lines, and it's a significant top, then you can afford to wait to get that confirmation out there. And we don't have that confirmation as we speak. 30 minute time frame chart for the ES mini, other than maybe an A to B equals CD pattern is out there. Let me just expand this out. Do I see an A to B equals CD pattern? And uh, I guess you could, I don't think it's completed. Uh, you could go from the low down here, uh, all the way up to this uh, TD nine count uh, pattern. Yeah, there's no way that this is completed. So there's no 30 minute topping signal that I've got. Let me just, uh, copy this and because that would in essence be the a to b equals cd and i don't even there we go and that would give us uh a price target out here in the 4820 level so on a 30 minute time frame for the es mini uh there is no topping signal that i see as we speak right now not for that time frame so what does that say well that says boy if we are trading above that 4799 level which we are right now this is suggesting we move higher as i look at the es mini for the 60 minute time frame same thing out there i don't see an a to b equal c to or any kind of a topping signal out here in the case of the 120 minute chart you do have a td9 count top so the two hour chart says a td9 count top out there uh, if this takes hold price should pull back to 47.94 the 240 minute chart has triggered a road momentum indicator signal let me pull this down just a bit and uh yeah it's so there's no topping pattern in place for the 240 right now but if this did generate and this bar here the 240 minute chart this is going to complete at 10 o'clock so not for another two hours but if there were to be a bearish reversal that did complete out here that would suggest okay you've got a top here you'd have a top in the 120 and you have a td9 count in the five hour so the larger term time frames five hour four hour and two hour do show some topping signals we just don't have that in the shorter term time frame charts so what does that mean that means well because of the td9 count tops out here so that's a cool pattern now remember the 120 minute time frame chart won't complete this next bar until 10 but if in fact well, so whatever the high of the ES Mini is by 10 o'clock, it might be where we're at already right now, which is 4807. I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. But whatever the high is, and if it is 4807, and then after 10 o'clock, price starts trading above that or closes above it by noon, that pattern will be negated and say we're headed to higher prices, maybe that 4820 at A to B equals CD to the upside. We'll be right back. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. 
Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So what we established during that first segment, we were taking a look at the ES Mini, is that the um, uh, larger time frames, the uh, two-hour, the four-hour, and the five-hour, do have potential topping signals out there. So uh, you're going to watch the high by 10 o'clock this morning. If price is trading above that level, then that says that price is going to move higher. And as we switch over right now, take a look at the weekly time frames out here. You do see uh, A to B equals CD patterns that are present for the ES Mini. So if this high does not take place, in other words, if price is trading above the high from 10 o'clock, then that's going to suggest that over time, price may be headed to 49.65. That's the one-to-one, -one, and that's a small A to B equals CD pattern for the ES Mini for its weekly time frame. As long as we're on this page here, you can see the NQ has an A to B equals CD to the upside, but it's going to need to close above the high from the week of November 22nd. That high out there is 16,769. If you did see that, then the move to 17,170 would be underway. In the case of the Dow, uh, 36,899 is its likely target. That's assuming that it continues to close above 36,354. And inside the Russell 2000, its upside target would be 23,14. That's the top of the weekly profile. We do have one question that's coming so far. Of course, folks, I would love to hear from you as well. 877-927-6648. Steve at TFN.com or inside the uh, inside the Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. And this ping coming from SNP, who wants to take a look at Pintrust. Uh, the ticker symbol there is P-I-N-S. And the question is, uh, specifically, uh, can you tell which direction Pinterest is going to head? So here's what we do know from a profile standpoint. You're trading into the bullish structure daily level. So as long as price uh, remains above 35.43, this suggests that maybe it wants to head higher. Now, maybe it wants to head higher to where? 42.37. We're going to pull the white background charts over. If we see some confirmed bottom signals out there, then that would really be suggesting to you an ISNP a target of 42.37. If you look at the weekly profile, you only see two lines. That's because the center also happens to be at the uh, bottom. Let me see if I can get the data box. There we go. Let's see, where did that go? Let me see if I can get that displayed here. So every now and then, you get a uh, 
center of profile that uh, tends to be right at the bottom. And that's what we've got right now, 3557. So 3543 and 3557 specifically are your real key levels. If price were to close below 3557 on a weekly basis, then the signal there as far as the direction would be south. And that south direction would say 2561, the bottom of the monthly profile. So that's what the profiles are communicating to us, SNP. Let's go see what the daily, weekly, and monthly charts are also communicating because what we're looking here, uh, we're looking at on these charts is a potential bottom pattern or signals out here. So on the daily time frame, voila, there you go. So Pinterest <clears throat> generated rose momentum indicator signal. The first one came on December 13th. The second one was December 15th. And on December 17th, that pattern was confirmed. Why? Because you have that bull sash candle. So this is suggesting to you, at least on a daily basis, <clears throat> that, in fact, Pinterest wants to head higher and that target being the 4237 above that S&P 4657. How about the weekly time frame? Well, it turns out the weekly time frame also has a bottoming pattern. It formed a TD nine count bottom right at its breakout level of support of 3491. <clears throat> now. The key level here that you need to see price close above is going to be that oscillator and change line. That's at 39.20. The top of the weekly profile is 40.08. So we'll just say a close above 40.08 would be bullish and suggest a run to 51.39. But you've got a bottom pattern on the daily and a bottom pattern on the weekly. And so this is telling us that at least bulls are making or buyers are making an attempt to form a bottom here. On a monthly time frame, well, it turns out this on December was bar number eight of a TD9 count. Now, bar number nine still has has to complete. In order for that to happen in the month of January, price has to close below 5095. That's a likely outcome. So you should get a TD9 count bottom pattern on a monthly basis in January. What we don't know is whether it's this month or December's December's bar that's a low bar 8 or whether it could be bar number 9. But right now, S&P, the daily and weekly say we're going to make an attempt to form a bottom here. So I would have to say right now, the monthly, it's telling us that you've got a valid bottoming signal as well. One last time frame that we'll take a look at for S&P. What do we have out here on the 30-minute uh, chart? Really not much. Um, not much to assist us. So uh, we'll just simply go with those patterns. Uh, it looks like you've got a bottom here in Pinterest. And just watch those key levels of support. So SNP, thanks so much for writing in. I hope that that helps you out. And uh, no other questions at this stage. So let's go back to what we were doing earlier. If you give me a moment, let's go from the ES to where? Let's go to the NQ. And again, we're going to just simply pick apart the NQ's charts. We'll change screens here. Uh, it's four panel charts, just so you get a feel for what's going on for the multiple time frames, just like we did for the ES Mini. So in the upper left-hand corner, we again start with the monthly time frame. Now, in the case of its monthly time frame, unlike the ES, which has a TD9 count top, the NQ negated its TD9 count top a couple months ago. That was back in November when price closed above the top of that pattern. It does have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's triggered, so therefore the only pattern that it has of a potential top for its monthly time frame would be a Rhodes momentum indicator signal, and that requires a monthly bearish reversal candle to complete. So it's January 4th. We won't know about that until the end of the month. In the case of the weekly chart, though, it already has a confirmed Rhodes momentum indicator top. Last week's candle inside the NQ was a bearish shooting star. So you've got resistance at last week's high. Last week's high is going to be six. Whoops, my apology. 16, 659.50. If you get a close above that, then the Rhodes momentum indicator signal will have failed, and that would suggest higher price. The daily time frame already has a Rhodes momentum indicator top. It was this a November 22nd bearish engulfing candle, and not until price takes out that high. So that really becomes a second level, and that's a higher high. That's at 16,768. So we would say a close above 17, what did I say, 16,768, would negate the whole kit and caboodle here inside the NQ, and that would suggest that we're headed to higher price. Now remember, the higher price level that we took a look at, at least initially, on a weekly time frame chart for the NQ, would get us up into the 17,170 level. So if these patterns fail, this is saying to the upside, you'd be looking towards that what, 17, 170 area. That's in lieu of some other topping signal that could form between uh, now and then, should that unfold. As we look at a 30-minute time frame chart, it has a Rhodes momentum indicator signal. It uh, formed that earlier this morning. That actually formed at uh, 7 o'clock. That took price right back to its right back to its breakout level of 16484.75. No, it did not get all the way down to 16484.75, but that is your key level of support. If price were to break through that, then you'd be looking to move to 16403. 30 minute has a top. 
60-minute does not have a topping pattern. The 120-minute uh, time frame chart, uh, this does uh, as wave number seven. That's way back here from uh, back in December 28. So that pattern has not been taken out. The four-hour time frame chart, yeah, I mean, maybe there's an A to B equals CD. I'm not going to spend the time to go take a look at that. Uh, nothing pops out on the five-hour time frame chart. So right now, the only short-term time frame chart, the only intraday time frame chart signal that we have is really coming from the 30-minute. The 120-minute still has its pattern that is out there. So with regard to the NQ, what are you going to really watch today? You're going to watch at the bottom. You're going to watch 16.484.75. And uh, to, the, uh, to the upside, you're going to watch the high from last week. Again, that high is 16, 659.50. Let's move from the NQ. Well, we, we're going to go to a commercial break here. I'll put up the charts, uh, and let's go to the Dow and see what the Dow's signals are. We'll look at its monthly, its weekly, its daily time frame. Of course, if you've got a question, feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you're listening at 126 in the afternoon, thanks so much for doing that. We're going to try to make today's show as pertinent for that hour as we possibly can. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. equity future contract if we take a look at uh, ticker symbol envx that is novix uh, corp out here this is for bob <coughs> excuse me inside the tiger's den so bob when i take a look at this chart on the daily time frame here i see an a to b equals cd to the downside 
in this case here, a confirmed Gartley buy pattern. So it looks like this. Uh, the A point, very clear to see out here. That's going to be the high that we're using from November 22nd. The B point on this position is December 6th low. Makes a, a one-day uh, rally up into a high on December 7th. That creates the C point. Well, it hasn't actually completed it. Hmm. Visually, it looked like it. It got close. Um, you know, 22.30 was the uh, price projection. It got down to a low, 23.54. So is that close enough? <clears throat> Hard to say. But let's say that it may be close enough. Then what you have out here is a confirmed, that was confirmed right here with this bullish reversal candle, and engul bullish engulfing on December 30th. Now, so let's say we've got the potential for a bottom. Maybe there's another bottom signal, Bob. We'll take a look at the uh, white background charts momentarily. <clears throat> on a weekly time frame, <clears throat> I don't see any kind of a bottom signal. I mean, even I can do this counting and see there's no TD9 count bottom present. But what price did do was it pulled back to test support. That can be a bottoming, right? What what you and I are always attempting to do here is try to identify where is support, where is resistance. So we use our market profiles as one of those levels. We use bullish or bearish reversal candles at the completion of a pattern. That assists us as well. We can use those TD9 breakout and breakdown levels. So we have a number of things that we can use for support. Price can pull back to support. Boom, the uh, work is done to the downside. And on the weekly chart right now for Enovix, it, it has done that. Let's pull over the – not enough data <clears throat> on the monthly time frame charts from a pattern standpoint for me to assist you there. So back to the daily, the white background charts. And what we see out here is what? <clears throat> not much. The top was pretty easy to identify. Wave number seven, rose meant to indicator top. But on the bottom, it's just that um, – it's just that potential of that A to B equals CD pattern. <clears throat> what you'd like to see here, Bob, is a close above 2773, not one, but two consecutive closes to then suggest that ENVX should head to higher ground. Now, higher ground here on a weekly chart says 2903 is the next battleground. So if price can close above 2903, that would then suggest 3161. So twenty that so that's that's really what you're looking for to the upside to close above twenty nine oh three to then suggest you're moving higher and again on that monthly time frame there's just no data here to assist us intraday ENVX um, I don't see anything here that's assisting us as well so looks like you've got a potential bottom I think that'll be confirmed when you get a close above if you get a close above twenty nine oh three that's currently the weekly oscillator and change line so thanks so much for the request uh, Bob happy New Year to you and uh, we'll look forward to your next request. So so let's not, no other requests that I've got by email or anything that I see inside the Tiger's Den. So let's go back to the Dow Equity Future contract charts out there. If you give me just a moment, we've got to switch screens, and I've got to get that up on the uh, set of charts out here. Voila, we're all set. So in the upper left-hand corner, we're back to the monthly time frame. So remember, in the case of the ES and the NQ, the ES had a TD9 count top. The uh, monthly for the NQ had negated it. Uh, we don't have any kind of a topping pattern out here on a monthly basis for the Dow. What we do have for the Dow on a weekly time frame, very much like I believe we were looking at the NQ or the ES mini, maybe it was both, uh, but uh, you've got a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. So what is needed here to confirm its top would be a bearish reversal candle combined with a close below that oscillator and change line. Currently, that's printed at 36.311. So no topping signal on the monthly, no um, confirmed top on the weekly chart. And the uh, daily chart is uh, taking out its TD9 count top. In fact, it did that yesterday. However, I'll just expand the chart out. You will see that today, let me pull this back a tad. Today is going to become bar number eight, or appears it'll become bar number eight of a TD9 count. It'll form bar number eight so long as today's close is above 36,380. So that tells us that on a daily time frame, you've got the potential for a topping signal. Remember, on the TD9 counts, it's bar 8, 9, or the bar following 9 that needs to be the high of the pattern. We don't know what the what bar number 9, and for in this case here, bar number 9 would need to come uh, tomorrow, close above 36,287 to then at least complete that pattern. So the, you could see a top today form. We won't have that confirmed at least until tomorrow. And then again on Thursday out there. But there is, so even though it's negated its prior TD9 count top, which by the way led to a nice move back to a TD9 count bottom out here, that may be the next pattern inside of the uh, Dow Equity Future contract. 30 minute time frame chart, you would need a bearish reversal candle to confirm that topping signal, that topping signal being the Rose Mentum indicator top. The 60 has a TD9 count top. The 120 has a TD9 count top. The uh, four hour time frame chart has what? Let's see here. 
So you still have a valid TD nine count top, but that's going to be negated if we see a close on a 240 minute, a four hour basis. That would be 10 o'clock. A close above 36,572 would negate that signal. We're at 36,601 right now. So uh, obviously, you won't. Uh, we'll watch that if you're listening live. We'll watch that at 10. Um, what else do I see on the five hour chart? I don't see anything else. So it's got that. So basically, it's the 60 and the 120 right now that have the topping patterns out there. Uh, so you'll want to watch those levels of support. Those levels of support, really, I'd say 36, 526 would be an area to be watching. So that's what's going on inside the Dow Equity Future contract. Let's go to our first caller, and that's going to be, uh, who do we have out here? we got Gary in New Buffalo, Michigan. Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. Happy New Year to you. And a happy, healthy, and blessed one to you and your loved ones, Steve. Thank you. Thank you very much. So you're calling to talk about the 30-year Treasury. I think we talked about this last week. You were looking to add to a position, I believe, and I suggested maybe holding off because of the topping patterns that we had. Uh, so where are right. you at now, and how can I best help you? Well, I should have got out yesterday, obviously, but um, um, on some of my options. But I'm looking to see if I need to get out this morning and uh, just go to the go to the bench, so to speak. <laughs> okay, all <laughs> I right. I need a coach to pull me off the floor. <laughs> well, so let's go see what we let's go see what we can find out about the uh, thirty-year Treasury right now. So, what it's doing as we speak, and it's just the early part of the week, Gary. So it's just Tuesday, and what we don't know is whether or not the bottom of that weekly bullish structure profile is going to hold. That's at one fifty-seven twenty-five. You're twenty-five ticks below that right now. So, uh, where could price also be trading back to? So the question is. Uh, I would say the next downside target would be the swing low from the trading week uh, began October 11th. And that level there is going to be 155.17. So you're looking at uh, about a point and a half or so lower from where we're at now. So I don't know if you want to take that kind of pressure or not. Um, you know what I want to try to do? Hopefully this will do this. I want to get my five panel charts up if I can. I just don't know if it's going to because of the number, uh, in any event out here. So we're looking for support. Hopefully those five panel charts show up. Uh, price is already trading below a swing point from the daily time frame. That's November 24th low. That's at 157.11. Again, you're at 157.02. So all of this is suggesting lower price. And that lower price, again, Gary, looks to me like it's going to be the low from the uh, week that began October 11th. And that's in that 155.17 level. So if that's where things are headed to, is that any kind of pressure w that you can withhold? I mean, obviously you can do anything. Some of them are a little short, uh, so I need to get out. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, what I don't. I got what, some options expiring the end of this month. So. Okay. Um, the, the 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 I would say this, Gary, one fifty six thirty one. We're at one fifty seven oh three. Hold off and don't do anything unless you see a close below 156.31. We're, we're running out of time here. Hold on through this break, Gary. We'll come back. We'll take a look at why it is that I'm suggesting that level to be watching. Steve Rhodes with cool. TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. To Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So we're looking at the 30-year Treasury bond. We've got our eight-panel charts out here, Gary. And 156.31 is the breakout level, the TD9 breakout level, on a weekly basis. And even though it's a weekly chart out there, you know, you can still move below it today and tomorrow and then back above it by Friday. But I would at least, as opposed to pulling the trigger right now, knowing that price is pulling back to that potential key level of support where it also found a TD9 count bottom, I would at least wait for a close below 156.31 today. Um, that, or at least, you know, move your stop uh, lower. Um, or not lower, but I, I'm not sure where your stop is at. But uh, And as I look at the daily time frame chart, now yesterday formed a TD9 count bottom. It was a bar following bar number nine. So yesterday's low is really important out there. That's at 157.16. So if this 156.31 holds and then price gets back above the low of yesterday, um, then that would be saying, okay, put your stop below today's low, whatever that is uh, out there. Does, does that make sense? Makes a lot of sense. The 30-minute chart is also trying to form right now a bullish piercing candle. Maybe it ends up being a bullish engulfing candle. The session doesn't close for another, uh, what, uh, 15, 17 minutes out here. But it is giving you a signal that it is trying to form a bottom. So you're at a key level of support on the weekly. The daily could hold up on that TD9 count bottom. And the 30-minute is telling you it's trying to turn. So, therefore, those would be the reasons why, if it's me, I'm going to wait for an additional confirmation or break of uh, key level of support before I would jettison the position. So, those are what the charts are communicating to me. Any questions about those? No, it's excellent. Okay, perfect. All right. So, glad to assist you. Happy New Year to you. Always good to hear your voice. And uh, best of luck to you on this trade. We're all pulling for you inside the uh, Tiger's Den. So we're, we're looking for the third. Well, of course, there may be people that are short out there and they're saying, hey, Steve-O. But they'll, if you are short the 30-year Treasury, you'd still use this exact same information that we just came up with because you know the key levels of uh, a threshold levels where price is at and what action you might want to take based upon today's close. So, Gary, again, thanks for the call. And we'll look forward to speaking I, to you again soon. I just want to say one thing. You're always excellent wherever you're at and you know the newsletter or here or at your your time but i gotta believe there's a lot of people that are, that are on a daily basis that would love you here every morning at this point because you just oh. nail it out there on so many key points so um whenever well, you're on but uh, especially in the morning yeah, yeah. like this so be well 
Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks, Gary. You bet. And uh, and you have a, a great uh, Tuesday as well. Uh, we do have a couple of questions, folks, that have come in through the uh, Tiger's Den. So I certainly want to get to uh, those. And the uh, first one was a take look at Honeywell. So give me a moment here. We're going to change screens again. We're going to go to our black background screens. We'll take a look at our TAS market profiles. And I'll be able to pull over those white background charts. So we take a look at Honeywell. I don't recall what the question was. It might have been just take a look at Honeywell. So uh, that's what we're going to do. Steve, Honeywell, uh, entry level. Okay, so right now is not your entry place, uh, a place inside of Honeywell, uh, Satish, and the reason is because price is trading right now on a daily basis into its bear structured profile area, which is held. Uh, it's been tested three different times, last three trading sessions, in fact. That's at the 208.85 level. So right now, just looking at the profiles, it would be some type of retracement. It could get all the way down to support at the 199.44 level. We'll pull over my other charts and see what, in fact, let's go to those other charts right now and see what kind of signals we have in Honeywell. And on the daily time frame, what we're trying to understand is, did it form a bottom? Did it generate a bottom signal? Well, turns out that it did. So um, here's what I would look at, Satish. Now, you had a rose momentum indicator signal. That triggered on December 20th. You get a gap to the upside. On my charts here, it shows a rising window. That's your bullish reversal candle. So your entry point here, one entry point, is going to be that oscillator and change line. So since price has been able to, uh, has been unable to take out resistance, that being the, or get into resistance even, that being the uh, bearish structured area, your entry level is going to be 204.34. Just know that you've got a big battle up in front at 208.85 to 211.54. So one entry point, one entry point would be 204.34. Second would be 199.44. And if price closes below the low out here, the low from the trading day of December 20th, well then we were just simply completely wrong or at least the signals that it gave us the uh, buyers really just uh, didn't have a backbone but right now you've got a valid bottom on the daily 204.34 and 199.44 is where you'd be looking at for potential entry well you like the weekly chart out here why not that we have a bottom pattern but because the bottom pattern is that price pulled back and tested its breakout level of 199.86. It's a beautiful thing out here. So you've got a key level of support that is held, an oscillator and change line that recently changed colors. So here's Satish. Price should go target that oscillator and change line, the weekly oscillator and change line, currently at about the 213 level. The exact number is actually 213.49. If price were able to close above that, well, you'd be above both the oscillator and change line and the top of its weekly profile. And that would suggest you'd get back to the more recent swing point from back on around in November. And that's in the 228 area. On the monthly time frame for Honeywell, what do we have? So Honeywell says, uh, you know, maybe not so fast. Confirmed rose momentum indicator top. So it's going to have to be the weekly, which has held support. Um, what you don't want to see is price get up to that 214 level, turn back down. That would be rejection, and I would say, hey, we had lower maybe the 201.12 level. We don't have that signal just yet. So you see a nice bottom on the daily. Uh, support is held on the weekly. The monthly's not really helping us. I would just go with the daily charts out there. So I hope that helps you out, Satish, with regard to entry levels and what just simply the chart patterns for Honeywell are communicating to you and I. Dan <clears throat> wants to take a look at uh, ticker symbol AVEO. AVEO is what? <clears throat> It is uh, AVO Pharmaceuticals. Big day yesterday. Uh, getting back inside its uh, daily profile. Now, this is a bear structure profile here, Dan. So what you want to see is a uh, is price to, well, your next battle, it's pretty simple. Your next battle is uh, 543. Uh, but it's really between 543 and 570. That's the uh, bear structure daily profile that this is trading up towards. If it can take out 570, then your next battle becomes 664 to 713. That is its bear structured weekly profile. So let's pull over AVO and take a look at its white background charts. We'll look at the uh, daily, weekly, monthly. Let's start with the daily out here. And on the daily time frame, well, beautiful roads, momentum indicator bottom that completes yesterday. So uh, your battleground, nothing has changed here. You do have an additional battleground level, 568. That is where price broke down to create that TD9 count. So it closed above again at 570. That's going to be a bullish message. And that would suggest to move up to the 711 area. So that looks very good. Uh, you'd want to buy any retracement out here, it would appear. On a weekly time frame, I don't have much. So it's really going to be the daily chart here, Dan, that is uh, controlling the activity at this stage. Well, let's look at the monthly too. Yeah, so nothing on the monthly. So this is going to be all about the daily. You know, you had wide price spread yesterday, but you didn't have 
you know, did you really have accelerated volume, slightly higher volume, volume moving up, but not the type of volume you would maybe expect with a wide ranging bar like it had. Nonetheless, it's back inside the profile. It's got a valid bottoming pattern. 543 to 570 becomes the resistance level or your battleground uh, for this ticker symbol. So I hope that helps you out, uh, Dan, and uh, best of luck to you on that uh, trade. I don't think there's anything else inside the Tiger's Den. If there is, would you be kind enough to pre-print it? It looks like we're going to go to our hard break here or any kind of break. Hector uh, does want us to take a look at Amazon. Let me get the Amazon chart up on the screen here real quick. These are going to be the black background charts that show us our task market profiles. So in the case of Amazon, it helps support the bottom of its daily profile 3353 it's held the bottom of its weekly profile 3352 out here we'll finish looking at amazon for hector and patty when we get back from this break the reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. So when we look at the daily time frame chart here for Amazon, Hector, uh, what I don't have is any kind of bottoming signal. Yes, price has held the level of support at the bottom of that daily profile, 33.53 out there. So when I'm looking for chart patterns, I go to the weekly time frame. What really sticks out to me is a consolidation. So it has a nice confirmed roads momentum indicator top, does that back on uh, July 16th. 
of uh, last year. That led to a move uh, lower, and that's really at the bottom of the uh, consolidation out here. And, and that was uh, just testing prior swing points from back in June, uh, from back in uh, May of last year. Uh, price goes ahead, gets down there, and makes a move back up towards that Rhodes Mintum indicator top. So really, we've got a consolidation out here. So the best place to buy a consolidation would be at the bottom of it. So not now. If you're looking to add to Amazon, I'd say I would do it around the 3174 level out here. But just a sideways consolidation, not much more for me to report you there. You do have a confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator top on the monthly time frame as well. And price has made its way where it's found support is inside that bullish structured level of its uh, monthly time frame. And that's at the 3237 level. So that's all I see when I take a look at the Amazon chart. I hope that that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. The last chart that we're going to take a look at is ticker symbol CYTO. This is for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. And as we take a look at its daily time frame, you love the fact that price is above 179. 179 was the uh, TD9 count breakdown level. So you're above that, you go to the next one. It already did that. That next one was 223. That's likely where it is headed to. That's on the daily time frame or the signals from it. On a weekly basis out here, what do we have? Nothing much. Price is inside its profile. Uh, price was below. It's a bull structured profile. So, Dan, price got below that. You can see that here within the last uh, month. And so you know that your counter trend level is at the center of that profile. And that center, well, oh, wait, I take, wait, there's a brand new weekly profile. I take that back. A close above 230. That's the level you're looking at. A close above 230 would be another positive on this. Even though I don't have a bottom pattern out there, is price can take out resistance. That's what you're looking for. So 230 is a key level out there. Folks, stay tuned. Tommy O'Brien is up next. If you're listening in at 1 o'clock, it'll be a replay today. David White will be back with us live tomorrow. Have a terrific Tuesday, folks. Thanks for joining me. Building wealth trading.